If you study Adolf Hitler, you'll learn that he believed that everybody should become vegetarians by law. I'm not attacking vegetarians, folks. I'm just stating facts here. That there should be laws against hunting. He was against hunting. He was basically more akin to a PETA supporter than anything else. And he believed in culling humans. And he believed in keeping small groups of blacks alive in certain areas of Africa, kind of as a zoo, uh, you know, would keep alive elephants or something. As a laboratory example, he believed that uh, they would let the Japanese dominate and cull the, the, the Asian populations. Uh, they were going to take over all of Russia and Central Asia and exterminate everyone who didn't pass muster. Same thing with most of the Latin American nations. And this is what they believed in. Now, when you see things like carbon taxes proposed in the 60s, this comes right out of Club of Rome, right out of Bilderberg Group. Prince Philip and, and uh, Prince Bernhard, both Nazis on record. In fact, Prince uh, Philip, we forget about, the consort, um, the Duke of Edinburgh you know, to the Queen of England, he was a Nazi. His sisters all married Nazis. They're all Nazis. They're all Nazis. And you can say what you want about who runs the world and, 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 and you know, what the system is. The facts are the facts. And they are carrying out eugenics. And Endgame, I think, gives you the best picture to understand that uh, overall. But in closing, Paul Watson, uh, you know, they're going forward with their world government plan. And I just hope that the white supremacists understand out there that this eugenics model out there is for them as well. Uh, the elites are going after whoever they think actually has genetics that they don't control that, quote, threatens them. They, they want to kill the, quote, subhumans and the, uh, uh, you know, quote, middle class, you know, that they see of genetics that might challenge them. And I hope people realize that. I mean, no matter who you are, 99% of us are in deep trouble under the system. So we better all come together against the New World Order. And then whatever policy the New World Order's got, we should be against that policy. Paul Watson. Right. I, I also find it interesting to know from what you were just talking about that uh, Valerie Giscard d'Estaing, the top Bilderberg member who founded the precursor for the EU with top Nazis, married his cousin. So they all like to keep it in the family, don't they? They're, they're really into that. But what I would say about the um, European Union is that from its ideology in the 40s, from its Nazi ideology to its uh, empowerment in the decade later, now the agenda is so advanced that the, the manifestations of its power cannot be hidden anymore, which is why people like G-Star Destang said regarding the Lisbon Treaty, quote, Public opinion will be led to adopt, without knowing it, the proposals we dare not present to them directly. <laughs> Imagine that. So he's saying that basically if we knew what it was really about, we'd never go for it. So it's, you know. But now it's coming out. The free speech issue with the EU. I mean, the Nazis just killed people who spoke out against them, but the EU's found a more successful method, which is just, kill their free speech instead there's actually a european court of justice case which establishes the pretext that it's an illegal act to criticize the eu and in fact the eu has banned you know that's too important to stay there people. let's come back to five more minutes and i promise i'm gonna get to one final round of calls from randy ryan robert randy randy man i tell you it's all our callers today <laughs> And then I'm going to get into all this other free speech attacks. And I'll try to go to the beach. It was big brother like you've never seen. I'll show you those photos. Wow, we are already into the final hour. I make my return to the airwaves this 11th day of May 2009. Big news bullets coming up. Finishing up with Paul Watson. Paul Watson, uh, you were getting into, yeah, the, the European Union's been firing ministers and Members of the British government get fired if they criticize the EU. And now I've seen mainstream news articles where people are arrested because they 
use the word homosexual. That that's that's a uh, a hate crime now because it, it hurts people's feelings. If something hurts someone's feelings, even if it's scientific term, you know, like you said the word bluebird, that hurts my feelings. You're under arrest. They're now proposed a bill. It's getting a lot of co-sponsors here in the United States doing the same thing. That's coming up. But uh, you were talking about the European Union. This is all happening, and, and now. In, in, in London, I was reading that every day people are getting stopped and questioned. It's happened to me. It's happened to your brother. Uh, uh, she's announcing uh, your your home secretary that there's basically no free speech in England. Uh, I mean, this is getting crazy. I mean, they're really doing this. Well, the the uh, controversy regarding my, Michael Savage, what was not mentioned in that whole controversy was the fact that he was banned from entering Britain based on an EU law that frames it that, you know, political opinions that could be deemed offensive are illegal because it was under the same laws that a Dutch politician who called the uh, Koran fascist, I believe, he was he was barred from entering Britain as well, and that's done, all done yeah. under EU laws. Yeah, I forgot but, that, Paul. you got to get a blurb up. That's huge news. Nobody has pointed that out but you. So... What, from what I was saying before, the manifestations of the EU's power are now so advanced that they're obviously totalitarian. I mean, you've got, the, we've, I posted pictures on prisonplanet.com where the international EU police, because the EU's now got its own international political police force, is firing tear gas at Serbians who are protesting infringements against their sovereignty, um, on behalf of the UN created globalist client state Kosovo. And, and it also is, came out in mainstream news uh, just today, it's up on prisonplanet.com, that uh, they are doing all sorts of other restrictions on free speech all over Europe uh, right now. And the police got caught, as we said, it was clear from watching the video, posing as protesters attacking other people for news cameras and then showing IDs and slipping back into police lines. Yeah, which happens at every major global summit now. Um, with the free speech, the EU's also attempted to basically ban the Internet. They called it a dangerous and unregulated blogosphere. And I make all these points, and I try to make it relevant to people in America because this is exactly what they're planning with the North American Union. It's going to be set up along the exact... It is being set up along the exact same lines. And you're going to see, instead of European International Police, North American Union International Police... They're already issuing a North American Union ID card with TV ads for the new ID card, Paul. And they're saying they've got to restrict free speech off Mexican laws and through treaties, the Second Amendment, to unify the laws. And they've introduced the treaty that, in the words of CNN, they even admit will end the Second Amendment. That's what I mean, Paul. It's all happening right now. It's actually happening. It's happening, and it's a very short leap from international EU police to North American Union international police. It's just a matter of wearing a different badge. And they're in, they're in Serbia right now subduing Serbians who are angry about their sovereignty being taken. So, you know, that's what they're planning for America when they try to amalgamate the U.S., Canada, Canada and Mexico. And the, the agreements have already been signed whereby they can use troops in each other's countries. I mean, And make no mistake, the big foundations have been caught admitting they plan race war in the Southwest. They plan to get us all killing each other. We do not want that, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Watson, unbelievable hour-long report. Thank you for spending time with us today. We'll keep watching PrisonPlanet.com for all the great work uh, you and your brother, Steve Watson, are doing from the U.K. Okay, thanks, Alex. Thank you. From Airstrip One, there goes Paul Watson.